FNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Tuesday, the 6th of February. This is the Tiger Financial News Network, 10 a.m. market update. We're looking at the Dow up 72 at 38,448, um, uh, 450. And there was a sharp move down. And the big question for me is, we made a peak C in the Chapman Wave methodology. It's usually at a D that other things can happen. So this C says there's a chance that somehow or other <clears> – <throat> We just kind of worm our way to a slightly higher high or we get very close and then we start to turn down a little sharp. But what could happen now, but we've been prepared. We've got a little insurance here. We've got the S&P at this particular point. The S&P is down a fraction, down 47 cents at 49.42. Uh, the 49.75 high it was made three days ago hasn't been challenged yet. And looking at the QQQ, uh, we're trading at – uh, here we go. Uh, made didn't make well. Forty two nine two five was the high uh, two and a half weeks ago. Four thirty point two four four was the high three days ago. And today we're into four thirty point two two. It's down a dollar twenty five at four twenty seven twenty three. Making some kind of a little double top here. I think IWM is the Russell two thousand. Finding a little support there, up 72 cents at 192.65. Gold is trying to find a little bit of a support here. It's got it's up four at 2047, still within the sideways trading band. And then you've got the dollar. The dollar has had a very strong rally. It's pulling back just no, it's unchanged today, 104.48. Nothing technically wrong here. It's looking very good, and it's well above the 200 period exponential moving average. Now, let's go to bonds, and the bonds are really important at this stage. Bonds are running 10, 30 seconds. Now, what's very interesting, it was a very sharp spike to the upside and then a down move. This is exactly where you could see um, the potential for a bounce, but only if at 120.30 and 30 seconds, it manages to get to the 123 level sometime this week. Otherwise, it means yields are going higher. And let's just look at crude oil as we go to the break. Uh, crude oil is up uh, 53 cents. We'll be right back for the Tiger Technician's Hour. This is Basil Chapman. See you in a few moments. Check out my opening call daily newsletter. See you in a few moments. 